Hello? Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you today? How was your right, day? Thank you. That's nice. How about your day? How was your day? Do you have a good day? Yeah. Awesome. What did you do today? What did you do today? Can you recall what um, did you do today? I wore. Oh, you uh, worked? Uh huh. What else do you remember about today? What did you eat for breakfast? For example, I ate, I ate pancake for breakfast. I drank coffee. Then I had a meeting with my boss at 11. I had lunch at noon. And then I finished work at uh, 20 after four. Then I cooked dinner and then I prepared my classes. What about you? What can you tell about today's date, Irving? I woke up at 4 a.m. I had breakfast, I had um, beans and planting coffee. Um I started I started a little bit um about my work about English. Uh, I have lunch, I had lunch uh, meat and salad and and I had the uh, dinner and fruits and vegetables oh healthy nice and uh, what about you joanna good evening everybody good evening good evening what? teacher hello Hola. Yes, Joanna. Perdón, no entendí la pregunta. What did you do today? ¿Qué hizo ahora? Um, um, walking. Uh, very, very walking. <laughs> um, you worked a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, tired for the traffic. Um, um, beans, uh, egg, um, coffee, coffee what? Milk. Coffee with milk. Okay. Um, y luego descansar. <laughs> and then you rest. All right. Good. Another, uh, who else would like to share? Hola, teacher. Buenas noches. Hola, reina. Sí, la escuchábamos. Estoy viendo su mensaje ahorita, pero sí se la escucha, reina. Es que tenía, no podía entrar, fíjese, por el teléfono. Me decía, espera que te acepten, me decía. Qué raro. Me pasé, me tuve que adaptar a la computadora, que nunca la había usado. Solo con el teléfono me había conectado, porque no me dejó entrar. El teléfono no me dejó entrar. Ajá, qué raro, sí, porque la mirin se Así deja abierta, es. por eso. Uh -huh. Bueno, pero qué bueno que logró Ajá, solventar sí, y sí, la escuchamos. Ya, ya estaba feliz. Oh, that's Gracias, okay. Tía, 
No, está bien. Y gracias por intentar de todo. Esa es la actitud. <ríe> ok. Um, anybody else? ¿Quién más quisiera compartir qué hizo? Okay, so we will move on then. Uh, yesterday we almost finished the topic of uh, uh, the simple past, right? Uh, we had a reading exercise. Let me get ready here. Okay, this is the reading exercise that we had. Remember this one? Let's read for details. Um, can you see my screen? Yeah. Yes. Okay, this is the reading exercise that we had yesterday and it's the last exercise from section four. Okay, so uh, starting with the reading, who wants to read about Kelly? Nobody? Eric, can you read about Kelly, please? I had great weekend. I went to my best friend, Ellen Windy. She got married at home. All her friends and family went. She looked fantastic. She wore a beautiful dress. After the ceremony, her parents served a wonderful meal. I am really happy her and I really like her husband. Hasta ahí llega porque lo demás no lo alcanzo a ver, creo. Finish. Sí, creo que tiene el micrófono en mute. Ah, no Eric, escucha? perdón, sí, que seleccionara a alguien para que lea acerca de Robert. <risa> ah, sí, porque yo mudo no entiendo. <risa> <risa> Sorry. Eh, Emma. Emma. Am I you're in mute? Escojo a alguien más porque quizás Emma no se ha conectado porque no logro ver quiénes están conectados. Ajá, please. Uh, Edwin. Okay. Robert. I had an up full weekend. Okay. Up full weekend. Okay. My friend and I went to a rock concert. I had a terrible time. I took three hours to drive there. I didn't like to music and all, at all. And after the concert, indeed, all car broke down. I called my parents and they come and go to We finally got home at 10 this morning. I am so tired. Okay, thank you so much, Edwin. Now, please select someone to read the last part um, from Erin. Um, Rosa Guadalupe. Hi, Green. Hi, Um, weekend, weekend, I went camping for the firefly. My friend took me. We on Saturday and drove to his home. Um, I think. Still, we have to have a run. No, this is good to have a security. Then we will compile cookies, diner, and uh, we 
garaf üyesi Armstrong'dan Erman Fish'in I found a fish I didn't realize something but I learned a lot. Okay, thank you so much. Now, let's see if you remember. Uh, it says ¿Qué le pasó a esto? Como que agarró zoom, no sé. I'm going to reduce it. Okay. Uh, we were in the reading and then we had this exercise. It's, um, now, we have to read the article and correct uh, the sentences. Okay. We already read the article. So we should remember. Now, it says Helen got married in a church. That is incorrect. What is the correct information? Can you see the presentation? Si pueden ver la presentación. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes, so, teacher. Yes, yes, teacher. What is the correct information in number two? Helen got married in a church. Helen got married at home. Okay, excellent. Now number three. After the wedding, if everyone went out to eat. What is the correct information there? To, to find a separate wonder for me. Excellent, Joanna, thank you. Number four, Robert went to a rock concert with his parents. Robert went to a rock concert with his friends. Excellent. That's the answer. Thank you so much, Irene. Uh, number five, it took three hours to get home oh. after the concert. It took three hours to get home. What is the correct information? Um, and after the concert ending, our um... number five, it took three hours to get home after the concert. It took three hours to get dirt. Excellent. It took three hours to get dirt. Ajá, les costó tres horas llegar ahí al concierto, no a la casa. Ok, number six. Robert got home at 10 o'clock last night. Um, go, we finally go home at 10 this morning. At 10 this morning. That is correct. Excellent. Thank you so much, Emma. Now, solo un favor, puede ser lo más grande que yo no veo. Ya me ver. Yo no veo. Así sí. Sí, gracias. Okay, no worries. Uh, number seven, Erin goes camping every weekend. Erin goes camping for the first time. 
Yes, she went camping for the first time. Excellent. Thank you so much. Uh, now, number eight, Erin and her friends went fishing on Saturday. We go all early on Sunday. Mm -hmm. They went fishing on Sunday. Okay. Yes, thank you. They went fishing on Sunday. And the last one, Eric liked camping a lot. Is that correct? She liked camping a lot. Um, but you know, learning a lot. Erin didn't li didn't really like camping, but she learned a lot. Excellent. That's the answer. She didn't really like camping, but she learned a lot. Okay. So that is the simple past topic that we've been studying. And the section number five, it is uh, related to the simple past as well. En la sección cinco está siempre relacionada con el pasado simple, lo que hemos estado estudiando. Nada más que es con el verb be. So we have the first, uh, esta es la pregunta que vemos ahí para introducir la sección cinco. Where were you born? Ajá, uh -huh. ¿a qué se refiere esta pregunta? Where were you born? ¿Qué sería el equivalente en español? Cuando... ¿Dónde naciste? ¿Dónde? 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 Where were you born? So, um, we're going to study the statements in simple past with B. The past of B. Let me move on. It's getting stuck. All right, it's ready. Here. I do this. Okay, statement with the past of B. No listen. All right. No listen. statements using the past of B. Can you listen now? Additionally, we'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this yes. is used in a real life setting. Yes, teacher. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I was born in Korea. Let's listen and practice. I was born in Korea. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S.? No, I came here in 1999. Hmm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks, your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Let's take a look at the statements on this chart now. Statements with the past of B. I was born in Korea. I wasn't born in the U.S. You were pretty young. You weren't very old. She was 17. She wasn't in college. We were born in the same year. We weren't born in the same country. They were in Korea in 1998. They weren't in the U.S. in 1998. Contractions Wasn't equals was not. Weren't equals were not. 
we can follow this formula to form positive statements in the past with B. Subject plus was or where plus complement. We need to remember the following. For the pronouns you, we, and they, we will use where. And for the pronouns I, he, she, and it, we will use was. Now let's analyze a couple of examples. I was born in Korea. First we need to add a subject, I. Then we will use the verb to be in the past, was. Finally we will include a complement, born in Korea. Let's do one more example. We were born in the same year. First we need to add a subject, we. Then we will use the verb to be in the past, where. Finally, we will include a complement, born in the same year. Now, let's talk about making negative statements in the past with B. We can follow this formula to form negative statements in the past with B. Subject plus wasn't or weren't plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of negative examples. I wasn't born in the US. First we need to add a subject, I. Then we will use the verb to be in the past in its negative form, wasn't. I, I would like to point out that this is the same as saying was not, but we will typically use contractions. Finally, we include a complement, born in the US. Let's analyze one more example. They weren't in the US in 1998. First we need to add the subject they. Then we'll use the verb to be in the past in its negative form, weren't. I would like to point out that this is the same as saying were not. But we will typically use contract. Finally, we include a complement and the uh, US in 1998. Now it's your turn to practice making positive and negative statements in the past with being about yourself, friends, and family. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, yeah, so uh, is the topic clear? Or you have any questions? No, teacher. No, no clear, no questions. No questions? No questions. Okay, so. Um, is it the same that we have been studying or there is any difference? ¿Cuál es la diferencia con el pasado que estamos viendo? Verb to be. Ok, esa es una diferencia. Estamos en esta sección 5. Es el simple past with the verb to be. Ajá. ¿Qué otra diferencia notaron? We do not use auxiliary. We do not use auxiliary. Yes, that's another important thing. What else? Sí, ahí te dejé sopa y pollo. What else? Teacher. Teacher. Así como lo preparamos allá en el hospital, así lo vamos a comer. 
¿Qué hospital vamos a dar comiendo? ¿Qué yo le hice? Teacher, eh, no es por ser grosera, pero... Perdón, dígame. Eh, puse mute porque así estábamos oyendo una conversación background, como cacerolas, arroz y cosas así. Por eso les puse mute. Pero si quieren comentar con lo del tema, so pueden habilitar su micrófono. With I use was. Ajá. Igual que con he, she, it. Ajá, hay una diferencia, ¿verdad? Vamos a, eh, no siempre vamos a usar was, ni siempre vamos a usar were, sino que eso va a tener que, tenemos que ver si estamos usando tercera persona singular, eh, vamos a usar cuál. Was. Y con la primera persona singular. Was. Where or weren't? Was. Ah, wasn't. Uh -huh. Wasn't or was. Entonces sí, los felicito porque veo que sí entendieron bastante la idea, ¿verdad? Eh, siempre que vamos a usar el verbo to be en simple past, es, es como dividir el pasado simple en dos partes. Pasado, pasado simple con el verbo to be y con los demás verbos es otra forma. Con el verbo to be no utilizamos el auxiliar did, uh, sino que usamos el, el mismo verbo, ¿verdad? So, siempre que vayamos a hablar de ser o estar en pasado, vamos a utilizar was o were. Por ejemplo, si yo quiero decir mi abuelo fue una buena persona, ¿cómo quedaría esta oración en inglés? My grandparents was a good person. Ok, my... my grandparents. Oh, my. Si es mi abuelo. Was my a good person. My grand... grandfather. Grandfather. Ah, mis abuelos, dije yo. Was a good person. Mi abuelo, my grandfather. Uh -huh. Sería where, teacher. Grandfather. Yeah. Yeah. Where, por qué, where? No, sería was. Ajá. No estaba viendo la otra, la segunda. <ríe> la segunda Ajá. que tengo que anotar. Ah. Ok, si yo digo mi, mi abuelo, es una persona eh, con las que voy a usar Pero, my grandpa. Yo tengo una pregunta. Una pregunta. Sí, pues. Emma que tengo una pregunta con eso y Emma no sé si yo no he comprendido algo pero según el video se usa was in I, he, she, it ¿verdad? Sí. y were and you, when, y they you, mi we, pregunta they. ajá you, we, they entonces mi pregunta es si en la oración que acaba de poner estoy hablando de my parent, my grandfather, no, 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 no recuerdo realmente, estoy hablando de él. Uh -huh. Entonces, it was. Uh -huh. Pero en un, hay, hay, hay un ejercicio de la plataforma que estoy confundida, se lo voy a buscar. Porque... Mm, yo había puesto where porque había entendido que era como tercera, eh, lo había entendido como tú y entonces era where, pero me lo agarra, no me lo agarra así, sino que como was, pero no recuerdo exactamente. Pero sí, estoy en lo correcto, o sea, de was, eh, los, los que son I, he, she, it y los otros, ¿verdad? I, he, she, it, usamos was. En el ejemplo que les estaba poniendo, como estamos hablando del grandfather, vea, él es tercera persona singular, ¿verdad? Si lo hiciéramos en, ¿cómo se llama? En plural, para decir mis abuelos. My wasn't. 
My grandparents, si ahora yo quiero decir en plural, mis abuelos fueron buenas personas. Ahí sí Ahí se, se usaría wow. el word, ¿verdad? Ajá, porque me estoy refiriendo a un plural, a ellos. A varias personas. My parents were good person. Uh -huh. My grandparents were good person. Ahí sí, but because it is plural. Me refiero a ellos in that case. Okay, so, and this is, eh, se los puse también en, un, en la presentación, en un como cartelito. Y vamos a compartir la presentación. Okay, uh, can you see my screen? Ahí está el cartelito. Aquí está con, cuando estemos haciendo oraciones afirmativas, vamos a utilizar I was. Ajá, si es you, usamos where. Si es he, she, it, vamos a usar was. Si nos referimos a we, you, they, where. Where. Yes. Y también él forma su negativo con agregar not. Después de was o where agregamos not para hacer negativas. No utilizamos el didn't, sino que siempre el mismo was o were, solo agregamos not. I wasn't. You weren't. He wasn't. Um, it wasn't, it wasn't, we weren't, we weren't, and they weren't. También si vamos a hacer preguntas utilizando el pasado del to be, el cero estar, vamos a utilizar primero el pasado de be. No vamos a utilizar auxiliar, sino que vamos a usar el mismo be, solo que vamos a a invertir. Si se fijan aquí, para hacer una oración, primero ponemos sujeto, el pasado de be y luego el complemento. Pero quiero que se enfoquen en esto. Primero va sujeto y después was. Pero si es pregunta, ponemos primero was y después el was sujeto. Y luego el es sujeto. como que se cruza, ¿verdad? La información. De ahí todo lo demás va igual. Así de simple. Eh, contestamos utilizando el mismo verbo. Por ejemplo, si dice, were you famous? ¿Eras famoso o fuiste famoso? Were you famous? Yes, I was. O oh, no, I wasn't. Is this clear for you? Teacher. Sí. Eh, pregunta, entonces, was significa era en español. Yes, era o estaba. Uh, ah, gracias. Ajá. Ahí vamos a ir, ir, ir adaptándolo, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, si quiero decir, uh, yo, yo estaba en clases ayer. ¿Cómo diría yo estaba en clases ayer? I was. I was. I was in class. I was in class. Ahora si yo digo ustedes estuvieron en clase ayer. You were in class yesterday. Excellent. You were. In class yesterday. Ahora, you were in class yesterday. Ahí se las escribí en el chat. Ahí estoy haciendo una oración afirmativa. Yo digo, ustedes estuvieron en clase ayer. You were in class yesterday. Pero digamos que yo no sé. Ahora quiero preguntar, ¿estuvieron ustedes en clase ayer? Were you in class yesterday? Excellent. Were you in class yesterday? Solo cruzamos las primeras dos, ¿verdad? Were you in class yesterday? Y luego lo demás sigue en el mismo orden y ponemos la question mark. Así como lo ven ahí. 
So it's very simple. It's just practice. Esto es bastante simple. Solo es práctica. Es mucho más simple que el presente simple. Questions? Okay, if no questions, antes de movernos a algo diferente, vamos a chequear asistencia. Antes de pasar a un ejercicio diferente. Ya solo nos quedan dos clases. Resistan. Ya casi. Ok. Sí, Ana Trinidad. Present. Thanks. Andrea Estefanía. Andrea Estefanía. Thank you. Present. Cándida Janet. Present. Dinora Estela. Present. Diomesis Tito. Present. Edwin de Jesús. Present teacher. Okay. Emily Yamile. I'm here teacher. Okay. Emma Tatiana. Present. Okay. Eric Jonathan. I am here. Okay. Irving Norberto. Present. Okay. Joanna Selina. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Jorge Alberto Rivas. Juan Daniel Alvarado. Juan Daniel Alvarado. Not here. Carla Maria. Presente. Moises Eduardo. Present teacher. Okay. Okeli de Jesus. Present. Okay. Oscar David. Present teacher. Okay. Osmel Antonio. René Liceo. René Liceo. Reina Carolina. Present teacher. Rosa Guadalupe. Present teacher. Saraí Beatriz. Present teacher. Walter Giovanni. Walter Giovanni. Not here. Okay, so now we can move to the next exercise. Just let me share my screen again. Okay, we were using this chart and uh, let's see. Uh, we had this conversation as well. Teníamos esta conversación, right? Let's practice and let's repeat. Where were you born, Melissa? Where were you born, Where were you Melissa? born Melissa? Where were you born, Melissa? <clears throat> Where, I, was I was born in Korea. 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 Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S. Oh, oh so, so you, you weren't born, 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 born in the U.S. In the US. Yes. No, I came here in 1999. No, no I, I came, came here, here in 1999. 1999. You were pretty young. Mm. Mm. You were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Yes, yes, I was, I was only, only 17. 17. Did you go to college right away? Did you, Did you go, go to, to college, college right, right, right away? away? 
No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. No, no my, my English, 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 English was very good. Very good. I took English, I took English, English, English class for English two English years, years. First. 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 Well, your English is really good now. Well, well, your English, English is really good, good, really good well, now. now. Oh. Thanks, your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Yeah, yeah but I, yeah, was, I, was, I was born, I was born, born here. here. Do you have any question regarding to pronunciation and vocabulary? Questions? Oh, no. No. No question. Teacher, ¿cómo se dice right away? Sorry? ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Si es right away, or it away. Right away. Right away. Okay. Right away. Como right. rayo. Right away. Right away. Right away. Right away. Right away. Ajá. Eh, teacher, yo tengo una pregunta. Cuando dice que era muy joven, ¿por qué dice pretty, pretty young? Igual cuando dice que su inglés es muy, es muy bueno, ¿por qué dice otra vez pretty good? Pretty es bonito, ¿verdad? Not always, no siempre. A ver, ¿qué recuerdan que dijimos de eso del pretty? What is that of pretty? pretty? Es poco. Mm, muy, de, oh. muy, muy, bueno. muy, muy, uh -huh. muy joven. Uh -huh. Ahí dependerá de qué es lo que vaya antes. Right? Dependerá de lo que vaya a antes. Eh, si, por ejemplo, yo digo un nombre, sabemos que un nombre es cualquier cosa. Eh, por ejemplo, botella. Esto es un nombre, un nombre común, botella. Noun. Si yo quiero decir una botella bonita, digo, es pretty bottle. Como la canción, ¿verdad? También dice mujer bonita. Mujer es un noun, es un nombre. Entonces, pretty woman. Ahí cuando vamos, mencionamos el pretty antes de un nombre, significa bonito o bonita. Pero si el pretty va antes de un adjetivo, entonces el pretty ya no significa bonito o bonita, sino que es para dar como un fuerza a ese adjetivo para decir muy o muy. bastante. En este caso, el adjetivo es young. Eso uh -huh. no es un nombre, es un adjetivo. No. Los adjetivos califican o describen, ¿verdad? Entonces, el decir joven, joven es un adjetivo, young. Si decimos young, es solo decir joven. Pero si sí. yo digo pretty young, es decir bastante joven o muy joven. Pretty young. Lo mismo se aplica cuando dice your English is pretty good. Es muy bueno. Ajá, exacto. Muy bien, Ana. Porque el good, el decir good, bueno, es un adjetivo. Uh -huh. Good okay. es adjetivo también. De nada, Ana, muy buena pregunta. Eso nos sirve mucho cuando eh, clarificamos dudas y tal vez alguien tenía la misma pregunta y por pena no la hacen o porque ya tienen sueño. <laughs> But it's okay to ask. Nice, nice. Okay. Uh, any other question? ¿Alguna otra pregunta? Ya sea eh, del... Tengo una pregunta ahí, teacher. En la Diga, palabra uni... ¿Por qué en la... El... el cuyaje, el, el colegio? College. ¿Por qué le mencionamos universitario? En vez de decir university. Fíjese en que... De... Um, university es college. Oh, so, pero ahora se utiliza más college. Ya college. casi no se le dice university. 
Sí, porque en cualquier momento uno puede pronunciar, para, eh, pero si es una universidad, puedo pronunciar. Puede university. decir university. Uh -huh. Sí, claro. Sí, porque decir COI es como que es cualquier tipo de colegio, no universitario, pero aquí en la traducción en español es, ¿verdad? Eh, dice universidad. ¿verdad? Sí. Entonces, eh, ajá, es que. Puede uno, ajá. En la interpretación, la traducción, ¿verdad? Porque uno puede hablar con alguien. Digamos, con un gringo, eh, eh, si uno le dice, eh, hablando de una university, tal vez un colegio donde, ¿verdad? Está dando a conocer, ¿no? pero nosotros vamos por otro lado. Uh -huh. Con otra institución que no es. Pero entonces, eso es lo mismo, entonces, sí. cole que university. Sí, solamente tengamos en cuenta que no es lo mismo que en español porque nosotros a veces pensamos que como dice college es colegio. Uh -huh. bueno. Ajá, y no es así. La palabra college se refiere a la universidad. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y claro, ustedes pueden decir college o pueden decir university y significa lo mismo. No hay ninguna diferencia. Pero sí, hay personas que se confunden por eso, porque piensan que es igual que español. Pero en inglés, colegio, la palabra colegio, lo que conocemos con, como colegio, siempre es school. High school. Ajá. Solo varía decir si es pública o es privada. Public school o private school. Esa es la diferencia. Para nosotros aquí, escuela es pública toda la vida. Y a lo privado le dicen colegio. En inglés es diferente. Si es, 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 um, nos referimos a eso, es school, sea privada o pública, es lo que cambia. Public school o private school. La palabra colegio no existe. Sin embargo, nos confundimos al ver college, porque lo asociamos inmediatamente a nuestro idioma, pero no. College es universidad. Okay. Yes. Hoy en día se okay. utiliza más college que university, pero igual puede usarlo y no hay um, eh, diferencia en significado. Es lo mismo. Teacher. Yes. Entonces, este, el equivalente, uh, como para nosotros aquí básica, es de, digamos, de primero a noveno, creado. Entonces, el equivalente en inglés es school. Dice, ajá, si queremos decir es primary school, es como la, la primaria, primary school, then we have uh, lo secondary school, y lo que sería bachillerato ya es high school. Mm, okay. Hay una parte que también, perdón, es como Hooper, Hooper School, es algo así que es, creo que también como secundaria. Cooper School. No, I have never seen that. Elementary uh, School. Elementary School. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes, Elementary School. That's another equivalent. Teacher, en realidad, ¿qué le quiere decir en esa, en esa oración? Did you go to college right, right away? Okay, when we mention right away, es de inmediato. Ajá. Ajá, eso lo quiere decir, fuiste a la universidad de inmediato. Ajá, porque hay gente que agarran el año sabático, ¿verdad? Se salen de high school y no van inmediatamente ah, a la universidad, sino que entendí. descansan. Entonces, por eso le pregunta, did you go to college right away? Es como, ¿fuiste a la universidad de inmediato? La palabra right away es para decir de inmediato, o decir en este momento. Uh -huh. Por eso no le entendía qué, qué le quería decir. Uh -huh. Es esa expresión, right away, significa como en este momento, o de inmediato, inmediatamente, right away. Click. Por ejemplo, si le dicen a usted, yes, necesito estos reportes de inmediato. I need these reports right away. Uh -huh. O si solo le dicen, eh, um, Oscar, manda un correo. Oscar, can you send an email? Y Oscar quiere responder ahorita o de inmediato. Usted solo dice right away. Thanks, Kim. Any other question? 
¿Algo más que quieran aclarar? Esto es bien importante porque a ustedes les, les sirve de mucho. Así saben cómo usar el vocabulario que está ahí y los significados. ¿Ok? ¿Por qué tiene el sí. first al final de la oración? Déjenme ver. Two years first. De la oración que dice, no, my English wasn't very good. So I took English class. For, for two, two years, years first. first. Uh -huh. Como acuérdense que el first es como para dar secuencia. Lo que hice primero. Lo que hizo primero fue tomar. Por eso dice, yo tomé, I took. Yo tomé clases de inglés por dos años primero. O puede ser por los primeros dos años. Eh, ahí sería for, for the first two years. Estaría diciendo lo mismo básicamente, solo que si, si quiero decir por los primeros dos años, tengo que agregar la preposición for. For the first two years. Uh -huh. Any other question? So let's practice again before I forget how to pronounce it. So let's practice a little bit more and then we're going to practice in pairs. Let's repeat. Where were you born, Melissa? Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. I was born, I was born, 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 in, born in Korea. In Korea. Korea. Es como que quiere decir antes, cuando yo era joven, corría. 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 Excellent. Corría. I was born in Korea. I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S. No, I came here in the 1999. No, no, I think I you were pretty young. Mm. You were pretty you were young. Very young. Yes, I was only 17. Yes, yes. I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? Did you go to Did college, college, right, college right, right, away? right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. No, no my, English, my English, 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 English was very, very good, good. So, so I took English, English classes for English English two years first. first. Well, your English is really good now. Well, well your English, English is really good, good, now. Really good now. now. Thanks, your English is pretty good too. Yeah, yeah, but I was born here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, was, I, was I was born here. here. Okay, so this is com this conversation is in your material. What we're going to do now is to practice it in groups. I'm gonna create the breakout room so you can practice with your classmates. Okay, let us click join or unirse so you can practice with your classmates.
Well, your English is really good now. Thanks, your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Okay. Good job. Who's next? Quieren cambiamos con el otro compañero. Que... Ah, está bien, voy a hacer yo chux. Cabal, dale, empezó. Where, where are you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the US, USA? No, I came where is 1999. Mm, you were pretty young? Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English class for two years first. Where well, your English is really good now? Thank you, your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was boarding here. I changed the other. Okay, okay. Um, creo que empieza Melissa. Empieza, empieza a estar ahí. Vaya. Uh, where were you were, Okeli? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the US? No, I came here in 1999. Mm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right, right away? No, my English wasn't very good. So I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. That's good. Good pronunciation. Mm, you too. <laughs> yeah, I see that you did a very nice job. Los escuché a todos. Hicieron un muy buen trabajo. Eh, eh, creo que es la primera vez que escucho a Saraí. <laughs> <laughs> Mala onda. <laughs> no, en serio. Creo que nunca me había metido en un grupo donde estuviera Saraí. La sacaron sí, de es grupo. que casi no habla. Ay, que casi no habla. Eh, Eric Walter ahí van despacito, pero seguro y lo hicieron muy bien también. But he said it was okay. It was good. Very, very good. So you can continue practicing. Remember that eh, la plataforma está ahí 24-7 y pueden seguir practicando. El secreto es just practice repetition and that's it. So you did a very nice job. Thanks, teacher. Okay, Gracias, so teacher. It's almost time to finish, but I think that you can do it one more time. Bien lo, creo que bien lo hacen otra vez antes de que regresemos a la main section. Okay. Okay. Ya merito, nos vamos. No, si Sara ahí salió corriendo, ya ven. <laughs> Okay, that's okay. I know you're tired. I think están cansados, así que you can go back to the main section as well. Okay. See you there. Okay, teacher. Oh my God, I'm always on mute, and I forget it. So um, I think that everybody's here. Yes, I see everybody's back again. So thank you guys for your effort. Gracias por su esfuerzo por estar acá conectados. Eh, no les voy a quitar más su tiempo. Acuérdense, ya solo nos quedan dos días. Eh, termina la sección cinco, el examen final. Y pues, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. Okay, bye-bye. Take care. Bye -bye. See you tomorrow, teacher. Good night, everybody. Good night. Take care. Good, Good night. night. Good night, teacher. Nighty-night.